This GNS3 lab is an extension of a previous GNS3 lab. Previously, we configured Customer Router 1, Customer Router 2, Autonomous System 65001, and Customer Router 3 and Customer Router 4. The topology has been extended with the addition of Customer Router 5 in Autonomous System number 65000 and ISP 6 in Autonomous System number 65003 and ISP 7 in Autonomous System number 65004. Now a warning about this topology and lab. The required tasks in this lab are complex. Not only do you have to configure the additional devices, Customer Router 5, ISP 6, and ISP 7, but you also have to configure BGP on Customer Router 1 to configure a full mesh between the devices in this autonomous system. And then you have to configure the additional ISP routers and manipulate how traffic is sent out of the customer autonomous system, but also how it's received back into the autonomous system. So you're going to manipulate the traffic of this autonomous system so that traffic from customer router one, as an example, going out of the autonomous system goes via ISP router six. But you also have to make sure that traffic that returns is returned on this link. So in other words, the primary path is gonna be via ISP router six for outgoing traffic but you also need to make sure that traffic that comes back is sent from ISP router six into autonomous system number 65,000. So you have to do both inbound and outbound manipulation on customer autonomous system number 65,000. Now the devices from the previous lab still have their configurations, but you may need to update the configuration to match this topology and match the set of configuration tasks in this lab. So again, you need to configure a full mesh of BGP peers in autonomous system number 65,000. You need to advertise a default route to customer router one from both customer router two and customer router five. So C2 and C5 and need to advertise a default route to C1, but you need to do that using BGP and not OSPF. Make sure that customer router one only has a default route in BGP and it doesn't see other routes received by customer router two and five. Autonomous system number 65,000, autonomous system number on the left should prefer sending traffic outbound via ISP router six. That's the primary ISP, but ISP router one is the backup and ISP router four is the secondary backup. So outbound, primary path, secondary path, backup, secondary path. So make sure that you manipulate traffic flows outbound, but also manipulate BGP. That traffic sent to this autonomous system is sent via this path as the primary path. In other words, if ISP router four pings customer router one, the traffic shouldn't go directly into the autonomous system. It should go via ISP router six to the autonomous system. Remember that BGP doesn't take bandwidth into account in its route calculations. So you need to manipulate the traffic to try and force this to be the primary link. Assume for the moment that this is a higher speed link than these links here and hence you wanna force traffic in and out of this link as the primary link. Now for autonomous system number 65002, you should prefer ISP router five with ISP router two as the backup and ISP router seven as the secondary backup. So in other words, outbound out of this autonomous system, this is gonna be the primary path, secondary path, tertiary path, or backup secondary path. You also need to manipulate BGP so that traffic sent to autonomous system number 65002 uses ISP router five as the primary inbound device. And you need to use MED as part of this calculation and route manipulation. So essentially, when ISP router seven sends traffic to customer router four, it won't use this path as the primary path. It will use ISP router five to get into the autonomous system. 
Same is true for ISP router 6. It's going to send traffic this way to ISP router 5 into the autonomous system. So in other words, you're trying to stop asymmetric routing as much as possible. Traffic out of autonomous system number 65,000 should use this link outbound and inbound. For autonomous system number 65,002, this should be the primary link, both in and outbound. Let me warn you, there are a lot of steps to complete those tasks. But can you complete this lab yourself? Download the Genius 3 Portable Project and go to File, Import Portable Project to import it into GNS3. For this lab, I am using Cisco IOS V routers, and I'm also using a Cisco IOS V a layer two switch. You don't have to use the Cisco IOS V layer two switch if you don't want to. You could replace this with a basic switch. But in this example, all devices are Cisco devices. So try and complete the lab yourself. Otherwise, watch the next video where I complete the lab.